Tonight we continue our series of interviews with candidates in the primary election on Thursday, September 8th. We'd like to welcome one of the Democratic candidates for Register of Deeds in Suffolk County, Stephanie Everett. Uh, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for having me. First of all, we'll talk about your background because you, you do have some exposure to this office in, in, your, in your work before. Yes. So for the past decade, I've been dealing with housing matters in a lot of variety. So particularly, I've done affordable housing work, working to make sure that there's enough affordable housing across the Commonwealth. Um, I also have worked on foreclosure legislation. Um, in my office, I actually have the legislation pieces that I helped draft and pass in 2010 that allowed for tenants to stay in their homes when their landlords lost their homes, and also a right to cure for homeowners. Um, they gave them 60 days so that you couldn't, the banks could not just come in and file for um, your house to be foreclosed on without giving you a right to stay in your home. Um, and I'm also now a real estate attorney. Um, I have a solo practice where I practice real estate, family law, and criminal law. And they all intersect. You know, believe it or not, I think people think that they're in their own separate silos, but they're not. They actually, um, if you have someone who's getting a divorce and they own a home, it deals with real estate, it deals with the register of deeds. If you are someone who's facing criminal charges and you own a home and you're facing going away, what happens to your home? Um, so for the last 10 years, I've had the opportunity to really work on a lot of housing issues, um, both legislatively and with clients. And so it seemed like a natural fit to just go into this role. Well, you know, for you, it's routine. You have to search for titles. You have to help people get clear title to, yes. to, to do the next transaction. Uh, uh, what have you learned about some of the obstacles, especially things that you'd like to fix? So I think that there are some things that the office should be doing. I think if you ask anybody what does the Register of Deeds do currently, the answer is very short. They, they believe it's just a, a keeper of records, you know, where all land documents are at. But if you ask me what we should be doing, it's a whole different story. What we should be doing is advocating for our homeowners. We should be giving them resources, coordinate services with both state, local, and courts to make sure that homeowners have the tools and the resources available to stay in their home. You know, it's been for me, a, a battle to get home ownership. Um, I know we met some years ago, and I've told you my story, but you know, I was a mother at 19, and I was in a shelter by 20 with my daughter. She turned one in that shelter. And for me, I, I never at all thought about, I'm gonna own a home one day. I thought, I just want a home period for my daughter. Home ownership is a huge part of the American dream. And for many of us, it's not part of your dream until it is. And that's what happened to me nine years ago, is that it became part of my dream. And I'm thankful that I own a home with my husband and there's a place and a stability for my children to grow up in. And I believe that we have an obligation to advocate to make sure people are able to preserve that wealth. The only wealth I will leave for my children will be that home. I, I laugh and joke with them and say, there'll be some nice pair of shoes in the closet, but what you won't find are stocks and bonds. I don't have stocks and bonds, but you will have this house. You will have someplace solid for you to live. Um, something that my parents were not able to do. My mother does not own a home, has not owned a home, and my father died in 2010 never owning a home. Um, so I'm creating a different generation with my children of home ownership so they really understand the importance of being part of a community and what it means to be in your community and give back. We're talking with Stephanie Everett, candidate for Register of Deeds in Suffolk County. Uh, I'm sure you've, you've stumbled across this with, with foreclosure cases. Uh, there are times when who owns the property is really unclear because you've got you know, a buyer, you've got an investor, then you've got an investor who comes in later. Um, uh, is there anything that this office can do to, to clear up some of that? Yes, I, I think one of the things that the office should be doing is really collecting data on these things. Um, right now, if you assign a mortgage, meaning if you bought your, um, when you originally went to um, close on your home, you may have borrowed from Bank of America. Bank of America has now assigned your loan to another lender, and that happened to me, Penny Mac. Um, and I remember getting a lot of mail from Penny Mac, but I get a lot of mail from a lot of people saying, refinance your home. Never paid it any mind until I went to go pay my mortgage online, which I normally do. And I had a message from um, Bank of America that said that we no longer will be um, assigned to your loan. We, we reassigned it to Penny Mac. If I had not paid attention to that message that came out, then I would have had no idea who I was paying. I would have still been paying Bank of America instead of paying Penny Mac when it switched over. So that information should be something that we do. We should require when you assign a mortgage over to a new company that that information is filed with the Register of Deeds. So that's number one. We also should be able to collect data. 
there is a lot of information that comes in to the Register of Deeds. So before it made national news or even state and local news about the foreclosure crisis that we faced in 2008 and 9, and you know, for many of us are still coming out of a recession, the Register of Deeds knew because they were actually accepting these foreclosure deeds um, from the banks. So we should be able to quarterly get out information, run a report, and talk to local and state officials when we see that there's something going on. If we see there's a trend with one company that is buying up a lot of these homes from individuals and something is going on, it'll help us target areas that need resources who may need to know where they go um, if they are in trouble with their paying their mortgage. Um, it also will help if there's someone who's taken advantage of uh, what's going on so that the community can get together and really work against someone trying to take their property for a dollar. You know, I, I, I've been looking at records at, at the registry occasionally f for more than 30 years, and I've been doing it online. And I have to admit, when I go online, I still find it a bit tricky. Um, do you yeah. want to do something about that? I, I definitely want to change the, the, um, the website. The website has not been updated since 1999, um, so that's a problem in and of itself. And it should be a lot more user-friendly. When you go on as an attorney, I love it because I don't have to charge my clients um, to pull down a deed. But for a pro se, everyday citizen who's not um, familiar with this, and they just want to know what's on their deed or on their mother's knees or deed or their grandmother's deed, it's hard to navigate what you're looking for. It's hard to know what's going on. And if you brought your home before 1977, you're not going to find it online. You have to go in. So we do need to bring that website into the 21st century and include resources. Um, let everyone know where you can go to if you're in trouble from whatever the city's offering or um, the state may be offering to help you preserve your wealth. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Candidate for Register of Deeds in Suffolk County, Stephanie Everett.